Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really good. If you're new here, hello and fancy. If you're not new here, welcome back. We're about to drive my car for the first time since so getting it fixed. So let's see how this baby starts up now. Basically, you won't actually know because I didn't vlog last week. Because this is how my week started, but my exhaust fell off my car. Not what not ideal. Not ideal. Not not a cost that I wanted to pay to be honest this month when I've got so much coming out. But you know, that's what cars do, and yeah. So anyway, I'm about to drive home. I said it Charlie's all weekend. It's Monday morning. Busy Monday today. I'm hoping my mum's going to be awake because we're meant to be going food shopping, but if she's not, then we're not going food shopping because I need to get to my auntie's because I'm having a content day. I literally have... Oh, she starts. She starts. And I still have over half tank of petrol. Oh my God, what a dream. Anyway, um, yeah, so she knows... No, sorry. So I'm going to my auntie's to have a content day for Sheen because I have three Sheen parcels. Should we drive? Should we drive this week? I have three Sheen parcels um, to film for. Do you really tell you get your words out? So I'm going to my auntie's. So my mum needs to be up because I need to go food shopping before I go to my auntie's. But I can't be going to my auntie's too late because we have 18 photos to take and 12 reels to take. So yeah. So I'm gonna go and I'll catch you up in the next clip. I just wanted to intro the vlog before I forgot, and yeah, I hope you all do really good and I hope you enjoy the vlog. We've just arrived at my auntie's. Here she comes, Miss Erin Rouse, come help me get everything out of the car. So, yeah, I'm at my auntie's ready for content day now. We didn't go shopping because my mum wasn't up, she's not slept very well, so yeah, she's going shopping on her own. So, yeah, I'm gonna hop out because Erin's waiting for me. Happy Tuesday, and what a start to the day i'm feeling super super positive it is literally 25 past 10 and i've done so much today like i am very very impressed with myself um yesterday was obviously a full content day i know that i started the vlog then said i was at jenny's and then there's absolutely nothing until now but the content day was full on like there was 16 photos taken and 12 reels and that was that was a lot okay that was a lot because i'm a very picky photo person so it took us literally all day um we started about 12 and we finished at seven so yeah very very long day okay today today's a good day um i got up this morning bright and early we're talking at 6 45 a.m get up i want to start getting up at seven o'clock every day and i know it might sound really like why I am so sure productive in the morning and waking up early, as much as I hate it in the moment, that, that alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, snooze. Um, afterwards, I actually feel so happy that I've done it and I always feel so much better through the day if I've had an early start. I don't know why, but if I get up late, I always feel really lethargic. I can't be bothered with anything. Like, that's just how I am. So anyway, I got up bright and early and then at eight o'clock, well, I left here at quarter to eight. So 7.45, I left here. Went to meet Charlie's mum and we went on a run, which was really, really good. Again, a really positive run. Don't know if I discussed this actually, but I went on... Obviously, I've been going on runs, like, often. Um, and I'm waking up to a 5k. Like, I know that, that might sound little to some people, but we're not going to play it down. Like, I'm not a runner. So we all have to start somewhere, do you know what I mean? So, I started off on doing couch 5k. And, yeah, so I've been running on my own, like, round near my house kind of thing. I'm not the confidence to sort of venture out. But on Sunday, she took me to this nice, like, area, like, this, like, foresty area. And it's, like, a really relaxed one. It doesn't feel unsafe. I know it's that stupid, but a lot of places I feel like I wouldn't feel safe being on my own running. So, anyway, she took me there. And then we actually went back there today and did a really good run. But we had an amazing run on Sunday. Bearing in mind, we went running. It was 21 degrees, and that was at 11 a.m. Like, it was a hot day the sun was blaring there was absolutely no breeze and it was the furthest i've ever run and probably the fastest like i've done it which is just incredible but then today we topped it again and we we did slightly less distance because we didn't do as much walking at the end um because well she had to get back for work and stuff that's why we went early um but we the pace was a lot better so i'm honestly just feeling amazing for that run like it really did feel good i got up i had a smoothie before i went as well like it was a really productive morning when i had a run and then i was back here by nine o'clock and that's just like i'm like what that is usually i'm not even awake at nine o'clock so anyway i've had a really good morning doing that and i absolutely loved it i obviously wasn't gonna vlog while i was running because number one i look a mess number two i'm sweating every time Got back, I made myself some bacon and eggs. Um, so I've had a smoothie, bacon and eggs. So that should, that should to be fair, should do me till tea time. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, I'm really trying to work on calorie deficit as well. Because, yeah, my calorie deficit isn't 
isn't great because I'm like running and then I'm eating McDonald's and it's just, it just defeats the object. So this week is an eating healthy week. I'm really wanting to get, basically the moral of this little clip is to tell you guys that I really want to get into a nice routine of early mornings where it means I'm going to bed at like half 10, 11 because I'm tired. Do you know what I mean? Like my body clock at the minute is like one o'clock, which is really bad. So I want to like push myself to get up early no matter how much sleep I've got because then I'll be tired and then my body clock will regulate. Um, Because I really want to work on my gut health, like my gut health and calorie deficit. I'm not going to count calories. There's no way I'm counting calories. Like I'm going to eat, that just cut me off. I'm going to eat exactly what I want to eat. I feel like, like there's no way I'm cutting calories. I just also think it's a really slippery slope to be honest. Um, and I'm perfectly a healthy weight. I'm literally how I should be for my age, my height, everything like that. Um, so I'm not doing it to lose weight at all. I'm just doing it to keep fit. But I do want to work on the better foods and stuff. So like this morning, bacon and eggs. I know that actually sounds unhealthy, but obviously the eggs protein, like scrambled egg. And then also the bacon is actually good for you in moderation because meat is actually a really good source to have. Um, my stepdad's on a carnivore diet, which is literally all he eats is meat and egg. Meat, yeah, meat and egg, and he's lost so much weight, like, but in a good way. It's actually crazy. So anyway, had that this morning, and that should do me. And yeah, I've had a really good morning. I feel like I just missed the point of what I was saying. Oh yeah, so we came back, did that. Had a shower. Well, obviously, I had a stretch and stuff as well when I got back. Had a shower. I've done my makeup. My makeup's actually makeup in today, and I'm so happy about it. I've got some new favorite products like this. I've got one new favorite product. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, wait, where is it? Oh, whoops. I need to clean that out. Um, this blusher. If you like your blush, right? And I am a blush girl. I've been mixing it to be fair, but I've got this nice little blush duo that I'm honestly so here for. Like, so here for. It's the Glow Hub Cream Blush in shade Pinched. Actually got it for my birthday. Um, and it is so, so good. I'm honestly obsessed with it. It's like a stick like this. Um, best blusher ever. And this is also my... Like, these two are basically the blushes I will swear by for life. Then this is the NARS Orgasm. I've used this for so long now. Like, I literally love it. It's a tiny little pot. And I've had this for at least a year. Like, that is crazy. These together make the perfect blush. Then the contour I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cream Bronzer. But I'm already hitting pan, which is <laughs> not fun. Um, it's still got a while in that, though, yeah. To be fair, it probably lasts me till Christmas. And then also, another little new thing that I've been using is the Benefit High Beam, which I have no idea where it's gone. Here. Yeah. Benefit High Beam Highlighter over the top of the blush. So, like, that's sort of, like, my contouring thing. But as a base... The new, well, it's not even new, but the P. Louise base there, like, oh, the P. Louise base is so good. So, yeah, they're, like, my favourite products for the um, But I thought I'd show you, and obviously the P. Louise lip oils will always be a fave. But I just wanted to show you while, like, I felt like my makeup was makeup in. And anyway, yeah, slicks back to my hair, feeling good. And we're actually going to head out in a minute. It is 25 to, so I'm going to leave very shortly. And we're going to go and meet my friend Sophie. You guys might actually know her. She's literally become TikTok famous, which is crazy so i'm gonna go meet sophie she's such a positive person like i'm so excited because i feel like she's really gonna like boost the energy and um, so we're gonna go and have a coffee which is gonna be really nice and then i'm gonna go do a food shop to get some good food for the week because we're gonna start cooking like this it's only tuesday i know it's tuesday and like usually i do this on a monday but yesterday was a content day so i felt like it was my weekend like today feels like my monday my like reset monday um, I think I've said this before as well. I never do a reset Sunday anymore. I tend to do a reset Monday. So I feel like today is my reset Monday, even though it's Tuesday. It's just all a bit backlogged. Um, but yeah, I don't thought I'd update the vlog because I've literally not. And I promise I will vlog everything I do. Out of the day, we have a Couture Club racer vest. I've had this since I was 16. Three years I've had this. That shows how good quality it is. Just plain green. I'm going to put my same colour green Blakely jumper on because it is. Let me feel this. Yeah, it is chilly out there. And then I also have some white linen shorts. I didn't know whether to wear shorts or like linen pants, but I thought it is 21 degrees. Like it is hot, but it's really breezy. So I thought shorts and hoodies, perfect. Especially for when I go shopping as well, straight after. So yeah, gonna head out now. I also need to put air in my tyres, but I'm a bit scared to do it because I'm not very good at it. So I feel like I might wait for Charlie to do it tomorrow. Um, But yeah, let's go sort ourselves out. <laughs> I'm at the coffee house now, but it's actually me, so I don't know if you can hear me, I can't vlog much, but drinking my coffee, I've nearly finished, Sophie's got an oat milk latte, I can't remember what it was, but she's gone to the toilet now, um, it's actually really nice, having a really good chat, um, 
definitely necessary and yeah she's basically really so much motivation for my TikTok and I'm trying to give her same for YouTube so it's gonna keep this eye out. Let's ignore the washing but I'm back. Back from shopping, back from meeting Sophie, okay, I'm back from Sainsbury's and I'm gonna give you a little grocery haul because I actually like watching this on people's channels I think it's quite satisfying. So we've got some water bottles. We've had free water bottles like this no tomorrow in this house. Um, got some antibacterial wipes. I feel like you're very far away over there, but the lighting is light in the The lighting's over there and the fridge is over here. Um, okay, got some coleslaw, which is obviously fridge. Do you know what? I'm gonna bring you over here. The lighting might go bad, but you need to be over here for me to show you, to be honest. Yeah, not the best lighting. Cold floor. Again, go through that so quick. Um, this, some of these bags are really bad. I've got some cream. Oh, it's leaking. Ew. Got some cream to make my pasta. Um, Nando's Popery Lemon and a Herb. We actually do already have this, but I'm making lemon and herb pasta tonight. So a lot of that will go, and then I always absolutely love having it. So, because I'll also need it with my couscous that I'm doing in the week. Got some chicken suits for my mum because she likes these. Um, I got all of this that I got came to £62 as well, which I don't think is too bad as well. Got some olive oil because we did run out. Did run out, did run out. Sesame seeds, which I saw some honey garlic chicken that I'm going to be making, which is also why I got honey. This is only £2, which is good for a big one, so that's, that's pretty good. That goes over there. Got some sweet corn. Um, where does that go? Does sweet corn go in the fridge? No, it doesn't. Got some chilli paste. I'm not even good with spice, so that was really stupid to get, to be honest. But apparently I need it for one of my recipes. Got milk. Does that go in the fridge? That's not going fridge either. Oh, it goes in there. Um, got some Vimto. Again, this was only £2. I think that is so good. If you have nectar, use and abuse it because you get so much of it. Then got some fajita mix. I've got two of these, so this should be another one. But these are handy to have in. We are having fajitas this week anyway, but just for seasoning, like in general. Like if I just make random chicken and I want a bit of flavour, fajita is always the best. Here's the other one. I just picked up two. They were a pound each, so I just thought, why not? Then I got a pack of six peppers. We've got three red, two, three red, two yellows, one green, which is really random. But I'm making fajitas this week, and I'm also making taco stuffed peppers so that is what that's for then just your basic salads to have in you've got tomatoes onions cucumber iceberg lettuce the dates are actually good on these this time too some grapes for a bit of health got some new gut healthy yogurts after our conversation before a garlic clove because clove an actual garlic because we use that then i picked up this couscous because i'm going to make this with some chicken for my food at work this week I need to prep that tomorrow for Thursday Friday just to save number one my money number two my health um, I've got some tiger bread because I love tiger bread toast so I've got them that I've got some garlic bread to our pastas for our more unhealthy nights some paprika, 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 paprika crisps again are also unhealthy um, so they're good to have like when I have the heaters I like to have stuff like that on the side yeah then just picked up all the meat so I've got bacon I've got minced meat. I've got. Well, chicken, ham, and then I also picked up some mozzarella and then I got my concealer because I've run out. So, yeah, that is all of that came to £62, which looks like a lot when you put it out because there's not a lot that I've got, but it's like meals for the whole week. So, yeah, pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Happy. Oh my god, hello, car. Carl wants to join in the vlog. Happy freaking Wednesday. It's halfway through the week and I've not vlogged anything. Such a bad vlogger. Such a bad vlogger. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? When I have something to vlog, I vlog like my birthday. That was like a nearly an hour vlog. Like I've vlogged a lot. But when I don't have anything to vlog, like this week, it's been weird because Monday I had obviously my content day. Yesterday. What did I do yesterday? 
Oh, I went on my run, I met up with Sophie and then I did my rejection therapy, came home, edited a sheen hall, went to Little Mermaid. Yesterday was quite full and I went food shopping. Whereas today, I've just come to B&M and that's why I popped in. So I'm going to give you a little haul because I'm really happy with two things I just bought. I'm um, sorry about my car making weird noises. It is so broken. It's ridiculous. So I came to B&M. Anyway, I've just got my favourite, my Ice Caramel Macchiato. I can't go anywhere without this. If they sell it, I will be getting one. It's just so refreshing. Um got that i got a pot need get one of them and then i was really happy about these and may sound really little but i've been looking for some glass containers that are not expensive because glass containers are so expensive and i don't need to meal prep for the full week but it's for when i go to work because it keeps it more fresh and nice than plastic one does and i picked up two glass containers i've just reminded myself i actually need to meal prep today i've got a lot to do in the next three hours what time is it half 12 sugar i literally have four hours until charlie's coming and i have a lot to do before then but anyway so i've got this one which is only two pound bargain and then this one was only one pound fifty so i thought i could put my fruit in here because it'll actually stay nice and you know you put your fruit in like containers and it goes all like minging like it just it goes all squishy so yeah, I got, I got these and I'm really happy about them. And they're in the back to school bit. I didn't think I'd take glass to school, but I'll take it. So I've got a big one for my lunch. I'm meal prepping some couscous salad today. Actually, I'll, meet, I'll show you how I do that because it's actually quite good. And then a little fruit one because I'm trying to eat more fruit and stuff. So yeah, going to drive. I'm not going to McDonald's. I know you can probably see it and think, oh, she's at McDonald's. I'm not, I'm just in the retail park. Um, Hold on. I'm trying to be really good this week with my eating because I went food shopping yesterday and it was only £60, right? And I know I did show you that. And I got some pretty good things for £60. Um, so I'm trying to be really good this week because I've seen them running and stuff and I just want it, I want it all to like work out, you know? But anyway, I need to go home and I'm just basically working all afternoon, to be honest, like editing. I've got a lot of editing to do. By a lot, I mean three YouTube videos, 12 TikToks. No, 14 TikToks. A lot of them are for Sheen and for Timu. Um, oh, I need to film a Timu video. I don't think I'm going to get that done today. But yeah, I've got a lot to do, so we're going to head home. I can't have my macchiato, it's so refreshing. I nearly hit the curb then, that was bad. But no, I'm just feeling super positive today. And also, I know this is going to sound really girly, but my makeup's slaying today, and it's just made me feel really happy that my makeup's like on point today. Um, yeah. So yeah, really, really happy about that. Charlie's staying over tonight, and then tomorrow I'm back to work, proper work. Hopefully one day I can say that this is my work. Do you know what I mean? That would be a dream. To, my TikTok, my YouTube, be my work. I would be very, very happy girl. That'd be my best life. That'd be my dream life. Um, so yeah, I'm just driving back now. But yeah, I'm back to work properly tomorrow until I go on holiday, which. Bit of an it, Claire, innit? I'm literally going to go on holiday in a month and I'm on overtime now until then, which is good because I need the money um, because obviously my car broke. So I'm like, I'm sort of, I'm not in any overdrafts or anything, but my money that was spare so that didn't happen is now not a thing. So I need some more money. So it's good that I, you know, I am doing overtime, but it's just, yeah, gotta go back to work. I'm doing the typical procrastinating thing. I've done a lot, like it's 20 past two. I feel like I've been up for years. I love this getting up early stage. Anyway, 20 past two. I've done a lot today. Like obviously I've been out, um, which only took me an hour. Spent this morning, I filmed a sheen haul, I filmed a TV haul. So like that's all we filmed. I ate a really good breakfast, which has meant I'm not actually eating lunch because I'm like not even hungry probably just get like a light snack and then have tea later which is pretty good to be fair but i've got loads of editing to do like i need to edit two sheen hauls is it two or three two sheen hauls a timu haul i've just edited all the little tiktoks so i've done that then i need to schedule all my sheen posts and it just you know it feels a bit overwhelming so i've come to take a break because i've just done a lot of screen time like a lot of screen time so i'm going to put a bit of zoella on from last night because i didn't get to watch her vloggers last night so i'm going to catch up with that now i'm going to make my lunch which i was telling you about so i'm going to quickly rinse these through because i see they're from the shop now so i got these glass containers which we all know i'm excited about 
um, and this is what I'm making. I'm just meal prepping for the next two days at work because um, I've only got lunch breaks. Because we're in Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week, and I've only got lunch breaks Thursday, Friday because Saturday I'm on a short shift. So, like, I only need two. So, I thought this would be perfect to make a chicken couscous salad. So, it's the sun dried tomato and garlic couscous, and I'm going to make myself some Nando's chicken to go inside it as well. So, yeah. Or do I do Nando's chicken or do paprika chicken? I think that no chicken. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of chicken to go inside it. Um, but we've got the sun-dried tomato, garlic, cooked. You see, mother thinking, girl, I thought you were like allergic to tomato. It's not my intolerance nowadays, and I probably shouldn't have it. But these aren't too bad because there's barely anything in it. Tomato, to be fair, there's literally a little bit of tomato, and it's not that bad. And um, like I say, it's more of an intolerance, so we should be fine. But it's so simple to make. I just need to boil the kettle. Put it into a bowl and 160 ml of water, leave it to stand for three to five minutes, then mess it with a fork and it is done. So Charlie's coming around very shortly. I don't even know the last thing I vlogged was. I'm currently just tidying my bedroom. I've blitzed the whole thing. It's so tidy. I've not seen it this tidy in so long. Um, and I've just hoovered my floor because it was desperately needed. And now because I'm in the cleaning mood, even though I've still not edited them videos I was procrastinating over, but I have edited all the reels and the TikToks and stuff, so it's just a YouTube video. But I can do that in the morning. I can do one each morning. Um, but anyway, I'm going to clean using my favourite thing ever. This is the Fabulosa Antibacterial Multi-Surface Cleaner. And it smells like fruits and it is really nice. Like it actually makes me want to clean because it makes my room. It smells so good. It's not just your simple flash spray. So yeah, I'm going to... Give my room a nice clean because Charlie rarely actually, well, he comes to my house quite often, but not for like staying over a lot of the time. He comes to my, it's sort of just a fly and visit sort of thing. Um, just because we spend more time at his, we have sort of more freedom at his house. His house is like a bit bigger and it's just, we just seem to have more our own space at his house. Like we have our own little living room and it's just, it's nice to be there. So see when we're at my house, we love spending time here with my family, but like I only have my bedroom because my house is quite small. So we sometimes we just prefer to stay here, so it's just like perfectly fine. But whenever he tends to come here to stay over, my bedroom has been dirty or like a mess. So I thought, right, I'm going to make an effort to make my room not dirty this time. So exactly what I'm doing. Lastminute.com because he's probably going to be on his way soon. He'll have just got home and he'll be having a shower, so to be fair, he's probably going to be a good hour yet. Yeah. So I'm just going to see how much in general, I might edit if I still have time, but I'm just going to see how much I can actually get done before he gets here. Um, set myself a little challenge. So yeah, we're going to get cleaning, but I thought I'd update. And yeah, let's get cleaning. I've just given Charlie the ick. <laughs> Honest thoughts about my rejection thing. No, it's um, it is good. It's good that she's doing it. And I'd say so just keep doing it. I told them we'd actually spoke about it before I did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but no, it is quite, it is quite funny. To be he's just watched my, obviously the one I posted, but then he's just watched my um, B and M one as well. So he's seen it before everyone else. Um. Yeah, gave you the ick a little bit, haven't I? <laughs> no, his actual words are you're a nutcase, and I'll take that. I'll take that as a yeah. positive. Yeah. Um, you've actually come. Positive nutcase. <laughs> it's a good thing though, right? You can, you can be the advocate for this. I said this on my TikTok, and I'm going to say it over here. The difference in me from the start of last year to right now. Positivity. Oh, I see. Right, I've yeah. been a negative oh, Annie, and then in the past sort of three, four months, I've yeah, actually become. Definitely. definitely. It's just what you do with your life, guys. It's not caring what people think that actually makes it better. Do you know that? I would never usually sit here and vlog, but you know what? What? Who cares? Fair enough. I'm vlogging in public now on my TikTok, so I have to get over it on YouTube. That's good. But then we've come to. We've come to our local pub, it's just cost us 20 quid for two drinks and two little starters. Actually, that's not too bad, that is it. It's fine. I got, I actually treated myself to a cider on a Wednesday night. She's going rogue. She never does that. Jack, doing well. Charlie's got a Moretti, of course. Oh. Yeah. It's good 
loves Hawkston though. Shout out Hawkston. He loves his Hawkston. If anyone that knows Jeremy Clarkson is just watching my videos, <laughs> which is not gonna happen, then, but if, if it was to happen, then let us know, because this guy is obsessed. Bit of Clarkson farm and a bit of Hawkston, aren't you? Yep, gotta, gotta take you down there one day. I wanna go. Yeah. So you hear me say, gotta take you down there. Yeah, when I said I want to go. Oh, you said I want to go, is in you meant I want to go, so I didn't say that I was going to take you with me. No, I was saying it's like, yeah, I know, I want to go, like, I'll be down for that. <laughs> so now, I'm going to have a nice chilled Wednesday night because I've had a very busy day. You've had a very, 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 very busy day at work, and yeah, I've got a date there. Morning, ignore the fact. Hold on. Let's leave you. Ignore what I look like. I'm literally halfway through doing my makeup and my eyebrows won't be this dark. Um, so let's just ignore that because, yeah, I need to finish that. But I've just had a package through and you know me, I get too excited to not open a package. Um, I'm going to put my glass on though because I can't see anything. <laughs> just had a PR parcel through from what I think is Rimmel. So let's have a little look. I never know when Rimmel are actually sending me anything. I am on the PR list, but it kind of comes just randomly so this is exciting i have no idea what it is either that's what i love about PR packages like such like christmas because you don't order it you don't actually know what's in it oh oh, oh this is exciting okay so this is the package it's got rimmel hello best skin ever so what have we got in it we've got a this is so annoying when you're halfway through your makeup as well. All day grip, breathable primer. Better than filters, glow booster. Oh, I already have one of them. I'm going to get another one. And wake me up concealer and foundation. Oh my God, this is going to be... There is loads. No, sorry, look. I just rubbed this through. There's like, there's loads in there. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's have a look. I'm going to hate this clip because of what I look like right now. Right. First things first, yes. So I actually have two of these and I've had to be careful how much I use them because I've been running out. Like this one is nearly gone and that is this one, so that's good. This is the Rimmel London Multitasker Better Than Filter. So I actually, they sent me this when it first came out. So they sent me two shades and I'm pretty sure they've done the same again here. So that's really good because now I'm topped up. It's honestly one of the best. It's like... You can use it as a primer, you can use it as a foundation, you can use it as a highlighter, and it's really good. I usually put it over my foundation, a bit like a glowy base. Um, so that's fun. Next, concealer and foundation, foundation? Foundation, vitamin C, caffeine, medium coverage. This might be slightly too dark. So this is, this is, oh, this is so exciting. That's going to be, that is slightly too dark, I think. But that's going to be really nice to put on my skin because it's got like that silver ball at the end and that is going to be so nice under my eyes. I feel like taking my makeup off and starting again. Then we've got the All Day Grip and Breathable Primer. So I'm going to assume this is just like non-tint. Vitamin C as well, so that's really good. So that is this one. This is like so exciting, guys. Yeah, and then they have, they sent me the other shades of the other ones as well. I don't know if not, they sent me the same one twice. I actually feel like that was a mistake. I don't think they were meant to send it twice. Yeah, so they've sent two of the same of this shade. Ooh. Which is good because I'm the lighter shade in this one. Um, so I've got two of those got one of the multi grip and then i've got two different concealers so one of them is the one i've just shown you and the other one is rose ivory so i think this is more of a pinky concealer Let's have a look. yeah so that's for more like pink undertone skin i think that one might be a best suit actually that is so exciting thank you rimmel for sending me all these goodies i'm very excited 
to try these. Look how big that parcel was, guys. Got five full sizes. This is actually saying Rimmel's the first brand I've worked with as PR, which is very exciting. Um, the first PR package I ever had in general was Sheen, but that was that was at Christmas last year. And by PR, obviously I know I work with brands, but PRs where like sort of not expecting it you don't have to make content a lot of the time i will do trying videos off them so i might do that in the morning i might give them all a go in the morning oh so exciting look at it so i'm really trying to get into like healthy foods and stuff been having been trying to eat granola for the past like three years and i have it and then i don't like it but now I seem to find one that i actually like so Ignore all the rubbish I really sit down. This actually enjoying it. I've got a strawberry gut health act activity yogurt, I think. Um which also has actual chunks of strawberries in which I think is helping. Um and then my granola is a mixed berries special K granola and I'm so here for it because it's tasting good. It looks gross now because it's like demolished. But it tastes so good. If you guys need like a granola to make i did it as overnight oats so that it like soaks in and it's like a lot nicer and it's been in the fridge but it was literally just special k and that people put honey on it as well but i'm just trying to avoid that for as long as possible because of it's not really very healthy so yeah oh smells so nostalgic right now that sounds so stupid but i changed my air freshener yesterday to the yankee cherry one and i used to have this when I first got the car, and I haven't had that scent since first got the car. And it's giving nostalgia massively. I forgot to put my necklace on, and I ran out the door. I was like, oh, I feel naked. This is actually a necklace one of the girls from work got me, so I thought I'd better wear that. Um, for now, when I go to work, um, I'll be, can't even see it right now. Oh, well, it's still on. <laughs> so no, but I had to work because... I'm not running late at all, I start in half an hour. But I wanted to get Costa, but now I'm debating if I even want one. I don't even think. Do I want a coffee? Do I save the money? Well, it's not that I'm saving the money, because I literally have have a free Costa drink and I also have a gift card. So, like, I'm completely getting it for free. Just debating whether I actually want it or not. But I think I do because I haven't had a cup of tea yet. See what time it is when we get in, but anyway. Let's get going. Let's go for the coffee. I feel like it's necessary this morning. I say it's necessary, but it's literally decaf, so it ain't gonna do nothing. But the taste of it makes me wake up. I don't know if I'm just being really girly there, but I don't like full coffee caffeine because it gives me the shape. So I'm just gonna have a nice little decaf one and pop to work. That was one sweaty Betty run. We're done though, and I'm very happy that we did it because that was that was tough like it actually wiped me out i don't know why it was so tough i've literally done that exact same run for the past week like three times i've done that exact run three times and that was difficult sorry i just need to move my camera it's sort of in the way of my face a little little tiny bit no that was literally like my glasses are steaming up and i'm driving which is really really quite dangerous um I really want a nice caramel latte. I know that I had one yesterday, but like I'm craving one. I thought that might some more money, but I really want one. I'm debating parking up with Dr. Nathan and getting one. It's currently Thursday. Oh, no, it's not. I wish it was Thursday. No, I don't. It's currently Friday. Um, Friday. Working all day today though, and do you know what? I don't actually have a plan yet tonight, which is actually quite nice because I might have a bit of a me night. I don't know. Do what I fancy. So I was quite good. Might watch a film. I haven't sat in bed and watched a film in so long, you know. I've been watching Zoella's vloggers at night before I go to bed because I've been getting in bed late. I'm thinking if I can get in bed a bit earlier, I could watch. I could watch a little film. Charlie's actually going away tonight which I'm sad about which because usually if you watch my vlogs religiously you'll know that I usually um see Charlie on a what what day is it Friday <laughs> going back to speak yeah you'll know that I usually see Charlie on a Friday but I'm not seeing Charlie on a Friday because he's going away woo he's actually going away for the next two weekends um he's going camping tonight 
then he's at Creamfields next weekend. I'm not going this year. Didn't really enjoy it last year. I enjoyed like obviously it was a big event and I got invited by Sheen and like that that absolutely crazy and I enjoyed that. But the actual Creamfields itself, like the festival, the raves, the tents, like it was not my vibe. You guys know I'm too too like the home girly sort of vibe for a rave festival. I'd probably do Glastonbury, I feel like it's a bit I know it's still very like bum 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 but it's a bit more chill than Greenfield's. Greenfield is like very ravey and I'm just not a rave girl to be quite honest with you so I'm not going this year um, but you know I don't feel sad about it because I did it last year and I just feel like I was very grateful to have had the opportunity to do it and obviously I didn't have to pay for it which is even obviously a bigger bonus because then I've not missed out on anything like for not liking it and we did stay to be fair we did do two days but um, what was I saying? But yeah, like I'm quite happy to have said, been there, done that one, the t-shirt with Greenfields. I'll want to go to another festival. Like I'll do, I'd do Glastonbury if I could get tickets because do you guys they sell so fast? Um, and like, because also I feel like because that's more of a family friendly festival. It just just seems a little bit nicer than Greenfields does. So yeah, basically for the next two weekends, I'm actually not with Charlie, but I am away myself next weekend. I've just forgot about that. I go to Newcastle next weekend. Um, which I've been asked. My mum's in a jazz band, um, a traditional jazz band that she did when she was a kid, and they've all like got back together. And she's doing like this like event, like main event thing, and she's performing there, um, which is really cool for her. Um, really nice for all of them that actually like they love it. And um, they live and breathe this jazz band, honestly. So me my mum, my sister and my stepdad are all travelling down to Newcastle but I'm working that day which is really annoying I couldn't get it off because other people were already off so I'm not, they have a coach and I'm not going on the coach which is really sad, I might do the coach back if I can but I'm not doing the coach there um, but me and my stepdad are going to go down in the evening after work instead because we're going to travel on the Saturday and then the actual event is on the Sunday um, so yeah, we're not going to miss the event, we're just going to sort of miss the daytime things that they all do together, but it's fine, but he, bless him, he's not going on the coach so that he can drive me because I've not drove that far and it's like three hours I think it was, um, maybe a bit longer, which in fact isn't actually that bad, but yeah, I don't know, I've got a little few leave you because this has been a very long clip because I'm nearly at the coffee shop. We secured... The goods. This is honestly one of the best coffee shops ever and I'm so excited to go and have it. When you come over work looking like this and you work in retail, you know that it's been a long time. <laughs> I've just got home, it's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Um I ended up staying late at work because we weren't finished and we don't even get paid that extra, which is sad. Um, and I've just ordered a Chinese because I thought, you know what, I'm not cooking. Like, I'm not cooking. So I've got a Chinese on the way and I'm not actually sorry about it. The run I had this morning was great. I've been on top of all my exercise this week, so I thought, you know what, treating myself. I think the plan of action right now is to put my dramas on, have my Chinese, and then we'll start editing because I need food. I've literally not even eaten. Had half a salad. Half a salad. I've had a cinnamon swirl, which was bad, and half a salad today. <laughs> and two coffees <laughs> been a bad day on the food side but this week all week i've eaten so clean honestly i've been really really proud of myself so i thought you know what today, today we can treat ourselves so we're getting chinese because i really wanted one as well and i've gone all out i've got chicken i've got noodles and i've got chips i'm so over it um but yeah and then i thought i'd fill my belly up then i could do my editing and it'll still be chill but i'm gonna put my dramas on because i need to get out my work stuff i need to get out of it Forgot to say, so I've started a TikTok series. I think I briefed the mention of rejection therapy, but I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> we know Harley, she can't stick to it. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm not doing that anymore because I decided it's not. I couldn't keep it up. Like the first three days, I was actually doing it because I wanted to like try and get over it, sort of thing. But I was like, I'm not going to keep this up. So we've just swapped, and we're doing a series that I've been putting off quite well because I've been really weighing up whether people are even going to watch it. And it's called the It Girl series, and or like the That Girl series, should I say? So basically, I'm going to start it tomorrow because I'm going to film something maybe tonight to put out tomorrow 
or vice versa so at least it was starting Saturday or Sunday and basically I went to pick up a few bits for it because well obviously I mentioned before that I needed this so that isn't to do with it also one of my other nails came off at work I'm feeling but anyway I got the Sunkist exfoliating mitt because I said that I needed one so got that I really need a bloody good exfoliation as well so I'm excited for my shower in the morning to do that I know I could have a bath tonight or something but I've had a bath three times this week and the water wastage is a joke and obviously I had a shower this morning so I'm not I'm not being a scruff <laughs> um well we'll have one in the morning like after i get up i'm gonna get up and do a little exercise in the garden i'm gonna do an ab workout in the morning because i'm gonna need it after this and obviously i did my run today um so i'm gonna yeah then use this which i'm very excited about it's one pound 89 no sorry two pound 89 for body care literally the only one i had nowhere else had them anyway i then went into the works i love the works they have the most aesthetic stationery ever but anyway i went in to get a notebook to start journaling because i didn't I obviously have gratitude journals and stuff where it gives you like prompts and like you write down things but I didn't want that I wanted just a notebook because what I want this for is manifesting not necessarily journaling if that makes sense um but what I'm thinking of doing is doing manifesting and doing like day diaries sort of thing every day just to sort of keep track of how my life's going and I can look back at it so you're having a bad day and you just think I'm gonna look back at like my week and actually like at really rationalise things because I'm one of them people so I thought we could do that but I went in to get a normal notebook to do it in because I thought oh you can't really get journals that are just notebooks do you know what I mean but then I found this one and it literally is it says journal on it very me are we seeing how very me this is it's very beige it's very me so it's scribblicious on the back um so that's obviously the brand it was four pounds for an a5 journal and the whole thing the whole thing i'm so happy because like i said i have so many like journaled prompt ones i didn't need a prompted journal i just needed an actual manifesting book if you like so i've got that for four pound and then i also picked up this for three pound which is notes but it's like not a five not a four i don't really know what, what it is it's kind of in the middle um but i thought this can be my new tiktok planner so this is going to be my little, well, I say TikTok, it's going to be my social media. It's going to be like my short, not my big YouTube videos. It's going to be like my reels, my shorts, my TikToks. Sort of plan them all out in here because I thought that'd be a good idea, especially starting the series. I want to make sure that before I start the series, I have them all planned out, ready to go. Because what I don't want to do is start the series, get to day six and be like, oh, sugar, I don't have anything for day seven. I don't know what to do. So I want to make sure that I do it properly. And this was three pounds, so four for six seven pounds for these and that was two pound eighty nine i basically spent ten pound and i took it out of my birthday money um i'm saving for a camera and i was quite lucky to have got quite a bit of birthday money i'm still very far off the camera by the way it's going to take me probably another year to get to it but i got like i've got 210 saved for it and i was like right i'm just going to take that extra ten pound and i'm like on the dot so the ten pound got me these out my birthday money which i'm actually happy about so yeah i picked up them i just want to do a little mini haul because i just i think they're both really aesthetic and i'm really here for it so yeah hoping my chinese is going to arrive in a minute because i'm starving it's 10 past 7 i ordered it 20 minutes ago it says 40 minutes on the website our chinese never takes that long so i'll be very shocked if it actually takes 40 minutes <laughs> this right here oh not that but this right here is my best setup i could ever possibly think of right now so i've got zoe's um vloggers on at the minute it's literally got like what 25 minutes left sorry i'm gonna sit let my food chill and watch that my balloons are literally still up all my birthday cards are still up it's still like it's my birthday i actually got a birthday present today's so off girl from work so that was nice um and then look at that i have demolished it so i forgot to film but i had chicken which is in there their chips and noodles for my mum to nibble on in a bit and now i'm just munching on some prawn crackers with a diet coke and do you know what like i said i'm not gonna apologize for it because we have to treat ourselves now and again and i've eaten very well this week so this was a well-deserved takeaway on a friday night after a very long day good morning guys did my editing get done no it didn't because was i in a bad mood yes i was do you know what the last thing i filmed was but i know that i was in such a bad mood yesterday going from work and i was done i was so done and then i cried all night because so, you know what sometimes it has to be let out and i know i'm doing this thing on tiktok and about positivity but sometimes you have to cry like that it's normal okay but anyway it got me somewhere good because actually <laughs> what could i ask my makeup draw um i was bored and i facetimed my sister and i was upset and i was like i'm just gonna 
just gonna declutter this while I sit here and cry. Really random. So yeah, look what I did actually pray off. Like it still looks messy, but to me it looks a lot better than it did. So I put all my brushes in this pot that was actually in the second drawer full of makeup I didn't use. So I just basically binned everything that's in that. Or put it in a pot for my little sister to see if she wants. But all my brushes are in there. Got all my foundations doing that makes me so happy. Concealers and primers, brows, blushes and lots of off the lips, um, eyebrows, contour, set sprays, mascaras. My eyeshadows are here. Eyeshadows are at the back there because I don't use them. I only ever use them for shows. So I've got my palettes there. But this is NC skincare draw, but I don't have enough because most of it's in the bathroom. So I have put my P. Louise stuff that I've not opened yet in here. And just so it looks cute and it's ready. So yeah, got two organised drawers. I'm just about to do my makeup and go and do some yoga in the, <laughs> in the garden. It's 5 to 11. I didn't get up early because I didn't sleep too great because I was so anxious last night so yeah five to eleven not happy about it to be honest because now i've wasted a morning but i'm gonna go do some yoga in the garden so i think that'll brown up my mood and do a bit of tiktok about it obviously need to do my morning mantra as well um which i think will help i'm gonna try and find one that's really relevant to how i'm feeling right now and actually put that on tiktok and be like you know this one is very much for me as well this morning I'm thinking about something to do with like stop dwelling on the past doesn't um what's it called dwelling on the past doesn't fix the future letting go does i think that's what i sort of want to base it on so yeah <laughs> thought i'd pop on while i drive to work to end the vlog i know it might be a bit abrupt i know it's saturday but i've just meant to edit the clips and we have 25 clips and it's coming to 53 minutes and if i'm quite honest I don't want my vlogs to start becoming our vlogs because I know that if I do love watching other people's vlogs and they're like an hour long but I sort of prefer watching you know like 30 40 minute vlogs and I feel like this is going to be too long for you guys so I'm going to end the vlog here um, and start a new one tomorrow ready for this is a really bumpy road really sorry but start a new one tomorrow ready obviously for next week so hopefully be more positive end start and end to next week's um really positive week though to be fair this week it's just today that i'm in a bit of a mood i think <laughs> um but yeah let's just end vlog before we go into all that but yeah thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you come back for more if you have make sure to hit the subscribe button um it honestly means the world to me like it really really does like, like i can't even explain it my dream in life is to make it on youtube and be able to do this as my full-time job so if you guys want to help me out with that then please hit the subscribe button and yeah i hope you're doing really really well i hope you all have all had a gorgeous week i hope you're watching this having a little reset sunday and yeah i should see you guys soon for a brand new video bye